Hi everyone. Um, I'm Amalka Subasingha, uh, technical lead at WS2 Open Banking team. Um, according to the recent survey results, uh, close to half of the banks failed to meet the March deadline for the PSD2. Uh, that is to provide the sandbox environment to the third parties. So if you couldn't meet the March deadline yet, or if you are planning to meet the September deadline, uh, that is to provide the production environment to the TPPs, uh, this webinar will let you know how WSO2 can help you to achieve that target. Mm -hmm. So this is the first webinar out of eight webinars that we have scheduled. Uh, from the next webinar onwards, uh, we are trying to take you through a bit more technical details of the features of WS2 Open Banking Solutions, uh, the features that we have mainly developed uh, according to the UK specification. So uh, today's webinar is for you to understand uh, where are we as an open banking solution provider and uh, what we have done so far and uh, where are we heading to. Uh, so the agenda is, uh, I will first uh, start with a little introduction uh, of WS2 Open Banking Solution. And then um, recently we did the Open Banking uh, sol uh, release, uh, version 1.3.0 and uh, what it is included. And then um, the deployment options we have and how, you, how a bank can extend it according to their requirements. And then a uh, little bit about our uh, open banking documentation and uh, recently we got the OBIE conformance certifications and uh, uh, and uh, how easily a bank can uh, have their sandbox environment uh, with the open banking solution and finally uh, uh, how we are planning to uh, meet the deadline in September. Um, so I will start with a uh, little introduction to WS2 Open Banking Solution and how will how each uh, component interact with each other in PSD2 context and um, where the WS2 Open Banking Solution fits in. So as the main rule in PSD2, banks have to expose the customer accounts and payment information to external parties in well-secured manner. So the WS2 Open Banking solution, uh, we do cover all the technology requirements for banks to expose internal services successfully as RESTful APIs. So as you see in this picture, uh, within the bank network component, uh, WS Open Banking solution can connect to any core banking system or the internal payment services connecting through multiple protocols and multiple message formats. Uh, then what will happen within the OB solution is it will expose uh, those services in high secured manner to the external parties such as uh, AISP uh, and PISP application owners. Uh, so the AISP, PISP application owners can get use of those uh, exposed APIs and develop uh, their services. Uh, as an example, in the AISP flow, uh, a fintech with the AISP application, what he will do is uh, he will aggregate the customer account data exposing from different banks to one application and show a consolidated view to the customer. Uh, same way in the PISP flow also, uh, the PISP application will do the payment transaction by calling each bank exposed APIs uh, to do the payments. So considering all those uh, requirements, uh, these are the key features that uh, uh, WS2 Open Banking Solution provides. Uh, first of all, uh, the solution is capable of getting any bank fully PSD2 compliant. Uh, it adheres to the PSD2 directive as well as the RTS and guidelines. Um, uh, the, the, the solution is comes with the uh, set of API templates for uh, provide the payments and accounts information. So it supports uh, open banking org.uk specification 
and <clears throat> and Berlin group specification and state specification and uh, right now we are working towards the Australia CDR API specification as well um, in addition to that uh, any other uh, in any country or any other bank who wishes to open up their APIs in different format um, that can also easily be supported uh, through our solution uh, we have built-in API security, uh, including uh, O2 and certification, certificate-based validation, and um, uh, it is fully uh, handled strong custom authentication as mandated in PSD2, um, and it is able to do adaptive authentication based on rules uh, pertaining to the transaction amount, transaction frequencies, and where the transaction is coming from. Likewise, uh, all those rules are uh, outlined according to the uh, regulatory technical standards. Um, it has comprehensive uh, user consent management component. Uh, which is a requirement in terms of uh, PSD2 and the GDPR. Um, and it comes with uh, analytics capabilities where you can get uh, several API analytics out of the box. Uh, with that, we provide transaction risk analysis and fraud detection uh, capabilities also. Um, and it is able to integrate with uh, uh, with any core banking system uh, as well as any external services that the bank wishes to connect to the WS2 open banking solution. So mm -hmm. we support industry-wide uh, industry standards, uh, message formats and protocols. Mm -hmm. So these are the key offerings that uh, we want to highlight among all the other capabilities of the solution. Um, we have developed all these uh, uh, all these uh, features on top of uh, using WS2 products, that is WS2 API Manager, WS2 Identity and Access Manager, WS2 Enterprise Integrator, and Analytics. So because of that, uh, these features are easily extensible for digital transformation initiative beyond the open banking. So very uh, recently, we did the uh, WS2 Open Banking Solution version 1.3.0. So our object, main objective was to support banks to achieve the March deadline, that is to uh, have the sandbox environment ready for the for the TPPs to start testing. So if you go to this revised roadmap, um, it uh, it clearly explain. Uh, uh, how a bank, what are the uh, APIs and services that bank need to uh, expose uh, uh, for each uh, deadline. Uh, so if you look at this roadmap, this, uh, this, this is for the banks under CMA order. It explains these are the uh, services that need to expose for the March deadline and then the September deadline. So likewise, it explains what is required for a bank who, who is under non-CMA order as well. So according to this roadmap, uh, the version 3 uh, specification of the Open Banking UK standard is required uh, was required for the March deadline. Uh, but uh, however, uh, during the September 2018, uh, OBI released the version 3.0 specification and then uh, after two months of time uh, during the November 2018 they released version 3.1 so we got a lot of inquiries on uh, what is required uh, to have to required for the March deadline um, so uh, so according to this API release management policy this is uh, also the uh, this is also have published by the OBIE. According to this specification, it clearly says if the minor version, uh, which is the version 3.1, is released after, within a three months of time uh, after the major version is released, then the bank definitely should have this uh, have this minor version ready for uh, 
for the sandbox uh, so this is uh, so because considering all those uh, um, all those policies we we decided to uh, have a uh, version 3.1 support for our customers to uh, put the uh, sandbox environment for the March deadline. Um, OBIE, they have uh, uh, they have uh, published some documents. Uh, one is the read write APIs. Uh, so these APIs uh, covers the account and transaction API. Uh, uh, what kind of information that a bank needs to expose to the uh, TPPs and how the payment uh, payment should handle and how to check the confirmation of funds and how to send the event notifications to the TPPs. These API specifications covers all the API uh, requirements uh, that bank need to expose. Uh, and then uh, they have set of documents uh, for security profile, this explains uh, how how the bank should uh, secure the APIs uh, and uh, how the TPPs uh, should uh, registered with the system. So, uh, in coming webinars, uh, we are uh, talking about these APIs and uh, security profile information more detail. Um, uh, so apart from that, they have a, uh, published another uh, two guidelines. Uh, one is the customer experience guidelines. It contains uh, uh, how would be the user experience when the TPPs, uh, uh, TPPs use these APIs and develop the uh, services for the users. And then uh, what are the non-functional requirements that bank need to consider uh, those informations are coming under operational guidelines. So considering all of these documents, uh, we completed uh, we uh, completed our release considering all the technology requirements. Uh, we did the version 1.3.0 release. If you go to uh, this release note, you can see uh, uh, you can you can get more details about what are the changes we did uh, for each and every specifications and uh, what are the other security improvements ux improvements and we have done a few improvements to the bearing specification also uh, so all the things we have listed here uh, with all with all of that uh, these features also coming with the uh, of, uh, coming with all uh, with our new release. So these these features we have completed uh, during the last year, but uh, those features also included in the new release. That is, open banking, uh, Bearling Group uh, Next Gen PSD2 specification 1.1 support, and state specification 1.4. Uh, UK specification support for the previous versions, uh, transaction risk analysis, fraud detection, and uh, consent revocation apps. Uh, with the new uh, with the new release, uh, we did a, a change how we package our solution. So if you have a, if you have a WSO two subscription and you have access to our WAM uh, WAM channel, so uh, you might have already seen how uh, WSO Open Banking uh, version 1.2.0 uh, is packaged. Um, so there we have there our customer face the uh, face a problem uh, how to find the required components for version 1.2.0 because we had named our components as uh, WS2OBAM 2.6.0, WS2OBKM 5.7.0 likewise. So uh, it was really difficult for customers to understand uh, what, what are the components that they need to download uh, when they want to get the version 1.2.0. So in the new release we have uh, fixed that uh, 
issue. So now our uh, components we have uh, named as WS2 OB AM 1.3.0, WS2 OB KM 1.3.0. So now it, the version number is uh, similar to the solution version. Um, apart from that, we uh, did another change. We simplified our uh, components. So earlier, uh, we uh, we provided a component called uh, WS2 OB AM Analytics, and uh, this component uh, contained uh, AM Analytics, TRA, and uh, transaction risk analysis and fraud detection features. But uh, not every customer uh, required the API analytics and the TRA and fraud detection. Uh, so uh, we thought of simplify, uh, we should simplify the solution. So now we have removed the AIM analytics component. And uh, if customer wants to have the API analytics, they have to download the default WSO2 AIM analytics component and integrate with this uh, OB API manager and the key manager. And if a customer wants to uh, have the TRA, trans transaction risk analysis and the fraud detection uh, features, then they have to uh, download the WS2 OBBI uh, component and integrate with the solution. OBBI uh, we refer as Open Banking Business Intelligence. And uh, we removed the uh, WS2 OBEI component also from our solution. Uh, because not every customer required uh, EI to integrate with their uh, core banking system. Uh, if anyone wants, they can download the default WS2 EI, uh, uh, EI pack, uh, pack and uh, integrate with the solution. So I will uh, explain these things more with the, when we are talking about the deployment options. Um, so with the new changes, uh, our standard deployment contains only two components, uh, that is uh, Open Banking API Manager and Open Banking Key Manager. These two components are must for a standard deployment. So the API Manager uh, uh, provides the gateway component and uh, it can uh, integrate with the core banking systems and internal services to uh, provide the required data to the outside. And the key manager uh, provides the, all the security consent management uh, uh, features and uh, it, can be, uh, it, it can be connect uh, with the bank, uh, user stores of the bank to uh, integrate the bank staff and bank customers with the open banking solution. Uh, so this is the standard deployment. And uh, if you want to see the API analytics uh, with, the, uh, with the solution, so what you need to do is, as I explained earlier, you need to download the WSO2 AM analytics and integrate with the uh, open banking API manager. So likewise, if you want to integrate the TRA or fraud detection, um, then you need to download the WS2 Open Banking Business Intelligence component and integrate with the standard deployment. And uh, if, if you already have a uh, tr uh, transaction risk analysis and fraud detection capabilities within your bank, then you can uh, connect uh, that, com that solution also with our standard deployment. Uh, as the same way, uh, you can uh, get the WSO2 EI uh, component download and integrate with the uh, within the API manager and the core banking system if you want to have a message transformation. Uh, and the same way, if you want to have a human interaction, the workflows, then uh, you can configure the WSO2 EI component also with the standard deployment. Um, so the documentation uh, uh, earlier in our uh, earlier we didn't uh, 
uh, made the documentation uh, you couldn't find our documentation publicly because our solution is closed sourced uh, still it is closed source but uh, we thought to uh, made our documentation public so the existing customers and the and if any bank uh, wish to become our uh, customer so they also can see what we have done and uh, how how well they can integrate our solution with their uh, systems so if you go to uh, this uh, link you can see our wso2 documentation uh, this is the main link of all the uh, wso2 solutions and under the solution you you can see the open banking section and there you have uh, one, version 1.3.0 um, so if you go to this uh, wiki page you can see uh, uh, see our documentation content so under the about WS2 open banking section, we are talking about architecture, uh, supported APIs, key concepts, etc. And then uh, under using WS2 open banking, we have uh, uh, separate, two separate sections for UK and Berlin uh, to talk about UK and Berlin uh, specifications. Uh, there we explain how we uh, how we have provided these each and every features. Um, and then quick start guide uh, you can uh, we have a online uh, demo site so this gives a page how you can use the demo site or if you have already have a WS2 subscription and if you can download our uh, 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 open banking solution components you can try it locally so this document guide you uh, how to uh, try it locally and uh, if you are uh, if you want to do a deployment uh, production deployment in your bank uh, well it explains how to configure it and what are the prerequisites required so you can uh, get more information about going uh, while going through this documentation um, and the next thing is uh, obie they have uh, published uh, conformance suit uh, conformance suit to uh, check the security conformance of your solution um, so we have run, ran uh, this uh, ran that suit against our solution and uh, we have fixed all the issues that we identified and uh, we could get the OBIE conformance certification if you go to this link you can see uh, uh, our uh, WSO2 solution also listed under the uh, as a conformed uh, solution. Uh, if you want to run uh, your run this uh, uh, conformance against your uh, running solution, uh, we have added the documentation um, how to uh, run that conformance suit. If anyone want, uh, you can refer this documentation, so it will be easier for you to uh, run this uh, this suit and see how it is uh, according to the specifications. Um, apart from that, uh, they have recently uh, published a fun functional conformance suit also. Uh, that is uh, that they have released. Uh, as a beta version so we are planning to run that suit also again the WS2 open banking solution with the uh, version 3.1.1 implementation so once we ran those solution uh, branch those uh, execute those uh, test suit we will uh, uh, we will publish the results uh, to see and um, if you haven't uh, set up a sandbox environment yet uh, even though the march deadline have uh, uh, march deadline have passed uh, if you uh, go to our open banking uh, site we have uh, put our how uh, 
how, how much effort is required to have the sandbox environment with the open banking solution and uh, if you are interested you can contact us uh, so our account manager will reach you and uh, help you to have the sandbox environment uh, in your bank uh, premise. Uh, the next thing is to uh, uh, next we are targeting to uh, help customers to uh, help banks to meet the September deadline. Um, according to the OBIE, uh, the version 3.1.1 is the specification that is required for the September deadline. Uh, so we are uh, we have already started uh, implementing uh, the improvements. Uh, implementing the 3.1.1 to, to 3.1.1 and uh, we are planning to um, release those uh, uh, release those uh, re features uh, uh, beginning of May uh, and uh, OBI is all, all already working on the version 4 specification also that uh, that they are planning to uh, publish uh, end of April but they haven't decided whether uh, the version 4 is required for the September deadline yet mm. and uh, and for the Berlin group uh, you, for the Europe uh, side banks uh, we are implementing uh, Berlin group uh, next gen PSD2 specification version 1.3 and uh, that will be available end of June uh, and and at the same time we are working towards the Australia CDR specification also uh, so we are planning uh, all the specifications under CDR are still under draft state but we are uh, we have started working on the reference implementation and the conformance suit uh, for the CDR specification. So uh, next, uh, so this is the uh, first webinar uh, out of eight webinars that we have planned. So uh, next Thursday we are planning to uh, talk about uh, uh, API security, how we have uh, uh, achieve the API security according to the UK specification and then um, uh, AISP, PISP and uh, CBP, II flows, uh, how, how those journeys works uh, according to the UK specification and then the uh, strong custom authentication and uh, how uh, different banks can achieve uh, uh, actually, or customize the strong custom authentication flows according to their needs, and then uh, how the how we have done the OBI director integration, uh, and then finally we are uh, show, we we are planning to show you how to uh, run the conformance suits uh, and against your uh, solution. So if you join these webinars, you can. Uh, you can know deep knowledge about uh, these areas um, and uh, I have put some links here uh, for you to get more information this is our open banking uh, site and um, uh, if you want to uh, try our solution live uh, we have we have live uh, demo we have hosted uh, if you want to contact us please email us uh, openbankingdemo at wstu.com. So that's it for today.